Hello, I'm Governor Jim Douglas. Vermont has a serious housing shortage that's driving up rents and home prices so fast, thousands of Vermonters are having a tough time finding a place to live they can afford. At the same time, our housing shortage hurts our economy because it makes it harder for businesses to attract and keep employees. The housing shortage is a serious problem, but it's one we can solve. We can build more housing that average Vermonters can afford, and we can do it in a way that protects Vermont's unique character. For the next few minutes, watch and listen as we discuss housing in Vermont, and think about how you can help, because housing is the foundation of our communities. Vermont is a great place to live, but thousands of Vermonters are also discovering it can be a tough place to live, because housing costs across the state are rising so fast, more and more families are having trouble affording a place to live. The median home price in Vermont has doubled in the last 10 years and is no longer affordable to the median income family in this state. Rents have gone up over 40% in the last decade and we know that 60% of Vermont's workforce is employed in jobs that cannot afford that median rent. There are longtime Vermont families who recognize now that their children will not be able to afford to go off on their own and stay in Vermont because it's getting harder and harder to find homes that are affordable. We're not building enough housing that's affordable for average Vermonters and their families. That's led to a housing shortage, and that shortage is driving up both rents and home prices. The effects are being felt by people of all ages, all across the state. I think the question should really be, what is the face of this housing crisis? Because the face of the housing crisis is now the face of a child whose parents can't afford to find a place to live. It's the face of an elderly woman whose pension hasn't gone up to meet the cost of rent. It's the face of an 11-year-old child who used to be a star in school but has now fallen behind because she's moved to two or three different school districts in a single year. Home is a place that keeps you away from harm. Basically what I hear is that there's a shortage of affordable housing, not necessarily low income housing, but affordable housing for people who are teachers, nurses, uh, um, medical personnel, uh, you know, assistants, uh, daycare workers, those kind of folks. They can't find affordable housing. Workers who years ago assumed and could buy a house, um, folks two income earning families, um, teachers, uh, policemen, um, nurses, uh, folks like that who always bought houses, now they, they often find that they cannot find a house that they can afford. The housing shortage is a challenge for Vermont's employers as well. As housing costs go up, Vermont businesses are finding it harder to attract the workers they need and keep the ones they have. Housing development is central to the economy of Vermont. Uh, the creation of new as well as improved housing is very important to all of the state's employers as it relates to their ability to both retain and attract new employees. Some Vermont companies have actually lost good employees because they couldn't afford housing here. The lack of affordable housing has actually um, kept us from being able to hire some people. It has nothing to do with do they want the job. It ha has everything to do with is there a place to live? Can I afford to live here? Home is where I can be with my family and my dogs. A lack of affordable housing is a particularly important concern for Vermont's tourism industry. Employers are finding many of their workers can't afford to live in the towns where they work, forcing them to make long commutes, which can pose real problems during the winter ski season. Affordable housing is critical in terms of being a component of what the community has to offer. If we as a business were to um, ignore the fact that our staff might have difficulty finding housing, we would not have the workforce that we needed um, to run our resort. A lot of people who work in jobs vital to Vermont's economy, people we depend on for essential public services, are particularly vulnerable to the rising costs in Vermont's housing market. But when it comes to municipal employees, I think whether they be firefighters, police officers, 
highway workers, people that work with in our sewer facilities or our school systems or even within our town halls. People that live in the community have a vested interest in their community. If they don't live in the community, if they have a 30 minute commute to go to work, it's a job. It's not a place where they live. The commitment is so much greater if they work and live within their communities. Here in South Burlington, we have one of the nation's shortest average commutes. And that's possible in part because we've really balanced over time housing with job growth. Need is a strong argument for building more affordable housing. But there are economic and social benefits to housing development as well. Housing construction is a big economic stimulus for the state of Vermont. In a recent study by VHFA, we looked at a 25 home project and found that it contributed over $2 million in revenue to the local area and to the state. Home is a place that's quiet and safe. Unfortunately, some myths persist about affordable housing development, including the idea that affordable housing and the people who need it can't be good neighbors. The reality is that housing development and the people who need it are great assets to our communities. This is a project that some people in the community had some doubts about, and I think through the process of permitting and developing the project, we really won the hearts of all those people, and uh, they're very supportive of the project now and are very proud of how it's turned out, and it's very accepted in the community now. You can look at the um, multi-story building in the town center with commercial on the ground floor, and a number of apartment units upstairs. For example, uh, the Exner block in Bellows Falls. The Exner block has been a huge success for our downtown in a, in a number of ways. It was a symbolic success of taking a building that had been ignored for so long and showing the community that we could bring it back to life. I think it also set the tone that we had really gotten over a hump here in Bellows Falls. People use it as a destination when their friends come and visit to walk them through or to show them a building that has been fully restored in our downtown. Housing costs should be at or below 30% of somebody's median income. So what's the answer? What can we do to get more affordable housing built in Vermont? The first step is local leadership and commitment to get housing developed. Vermont's communities need to take steps to encourage housing development because if Vermont is going to stay a great place to live, Every Vermonter needs a place to call home. It costs that person about $2,000 a year just in commuting expenses. Whether it's something as simple as a change in the zoning density or a lot size that enables some new development in a desirable location, or a commitment to work with a regional housing provider on a project that may or may not even be in your town. But it's really making that commitment to understanding where you are understanding where your town fits in that regional picture and doing what you can to move forward that's important. We as communities and citizens need to welcome housing. We need to make our zoning easier, our permitting more streamlined. As a state, we need to provide incentives. We need to be a housing-friendly state. Vermont has a tremendous opportunity. Um, beginning with the governor and various initiatives that he's put forward, the interest expressed by our state legislature, as well as all of the stakeholders with an interest in solving the affordable housing question here in Vermont. Um, this state is small enough that if everybody will work together, including the business community, to address this problem, we can be a national leader. The situation here in Vermont is severe, but it's not unique. The answer is housing, and the answer is creating it so that people who do the work as chambermaids, who hand you your dry cleaning, who clean up the coffee counter when you've had your breakfast or lunch, so that they can also afford to live in the community. That whole group no longer can make it in Vermont. We had a guy uh, last summer who's a native Vermonter say that he felt like his hometown had become a country club and he couldn't afford the admission fee. For information on how we can get more housing built in Vermont, contact the Vermont Housing Awareness Campaign, 802-652-3449, or on the web at housingawareness.org.